Hey everyone, this is Tyler from 643boxbreaks.com bringing you Pack Wars Tournament number 27. We've got a special edition today. We've got a box of 2018-19 OPG Hockey against 2015-16 Upper Deck Series 2. So for those of you who have done a Pack Wars tournament before, you know that sometimes we do OPG, sometimes we do Series 2. Today we're shuffling them up and we're doing uh, one of each. So the rules for the Series 2 are as follows. Um, I will pull uh, one hit against each other. If you get a Young Guns card, you automatically win the round unless, it ha unless there's a card that beats it um, up above. Uh, any memorabilia, autograph, or numbered card will beat a regular Young Guns, but then the hierarchy of trump cards goes up from there. Um, Here is determining the winner of the round. Most of you guys have been in a Pack Wars tournament before, so you know how it goes. Um, I will explain it as we go. And then for the OPG box, it is a little bit different because there are a million different parallels for the OPG set. We go with the last base card in the back uh, for each pack, and then whoever has the lowest number base card is going to win the round. In today's Pack Wars, we have two bounty bonuses. The first person to get a Winnipeg Jets hit is going to get a free spot in a box of Upper Deck Black. The first person to get a Jersey card will get two satellites, one into the Pack Wars Tournament and one into the Tournament of Champions. Speaking of the satellites, if you look over on the left side here, you have four chances to get yourself into this tournament for free. And so we're going to do that right now. Um, the bonuses for this tournament are three teams in the case break of the cup that is happening tonight. So we're giving away the final three um, teams in that case. Uh, so before we do that, here is the list of satellite chances into this tournament. I'm going to randomize the names three times. The top four names um, at the end of the third randomization is going, are going to earn their way into this tournament. So here is the third time. And congratulations to Bummer Boy, DJ Bass, Bummer Boy, and all four kinds. So you guys are making your way into the tournament wildcard bracket. So Bummer Boy, DJ Bass, Bummer Boy, and all four kinds. Usually I have Hudson and Felix. Um, helping me out tonight, or helping me out. Uh, tonight I am somewhat solo. My wife is here, she's going to help clean up the packs, but she has specifically requested not to be on camera. So the first thing we're going to do is spread out all the packs. And uh, so the winner of this tournament is going to win the Las Vegas Golden Knights for free in a case break of Upper Deck the Cup. The second place, so the runner-up, is going to get the Carolina Hurricanes for free. So first place is the Vegas Golden Knights for $140. Second place is the Carolina Hurricanes for $95. And then at the very end of the tournament, um, we are going to randomize everyone's names who is participating in this tournament. Um, you're all going to get one chance to win the St. Louis Blues for free um, in the Pack Wars or in the uh, case of the cup, um, but as an added bonus, if you fail to move past the first round in the tournament, you are going to get an additional chance to win the St. Louis Blues. So everyone who doesn't move past the first round, not only do you win a satellite into the next tournament, but you're also going to get a second chance, or a, I guess double chance, to get the St. Louis Blues in this case. So, Steph, if you don't mind, um, or putting these one on each bracket. You don't need to worry about those, just put them, oh, it's like this, like that is against that. So like each one of these lines is one. And I'll do the OPG. And then these ones will be in the final. You too? Um, not those ones, but those oh, ones. Mm -hmm. So those ones go like up that line there. Here? Yep. There we go. A couple more here and we are ready to go. 
Yes, that is the washing machine in the background. Thanks, Todd, for noticing. All right, so we're starting on the wild card bracket. Then we're going to spread out all the names to see who these guys are going to face. So starting off with DJ Bass against Bummer Boy. Good luck, you guys. DJ Bass has a canvas of Anze Kopitar. Bummer Boy, if he gets a Young Guns, he's going to move on to the next round. He does not. He does have an Anaheim duck, so that is good news. Because if we don't get a trump card, we go to the lowest numbered base card. So here is Bummer Boy's pack, and his Anaheim duck is 257. So DJ Base needs to beat a 257. And he does not. His lowest was 331. So Bummer Boy gets those two hits and moves on to the next round. So those can go just in that box, in that big stack. Yeah. Okay, now we've got two OPG packs, so the rules change slightly. In OPG, we just look at the back base card. And whoever has the lowest number base card wins all the hits from the packs and moves on to the next round. So Bummer Boy has a 165 Kevin LeBlanc. These OPG packs are so much easier to open than the 2015s from last week. All Four Kinds has a 346, which means that Bummer Boy wins the round. Congratulations, Jack. You also win all the hits from these two packs. So let's see what, what you've got. We've got a rookie of Mitch Renke. We've got a David Descharnay Retro. A team checklist of the Arizona Coyotes. Season highlights of Sidney Crosby. A tobacco card of Jonathan Drouin. And that those are your hits. So congratulations, Jack. You win the round, and you're on to the next round. And you get all those hits. You are facing yourself in the finals, so we're going to just open up your packs for you. And give you the hits. So in this pack, you've got a marquee rookie of Shane Gersh. And a retro of Zach Parise. And in your second pack, you've got a Tage Thompson retro and Alex Debrinkat retro. Oh, very nice. You've got a trophy winners of Andy Moog. That is a fabric card, which was which does qualify as a memorabilia. Very nice hit there for Jack. And that means that you get the bounty for the memorabilia bonus. So I'll get all your hits here, Jack, and then I'm going to move you into the tournament. And because you got the memorabilia bonus, you are going to get uh, two satellites into the next Pack Wars tournament and the next Pack Wars tournament of champions. So I'll put that in right away. And I should also mention that uh, DJ Bass and all four kinds, because you did not move on to the next round, you will get a chance at the uh, St. Louis Blues for free in the um, case of the cup. So now what we're going to do next is uh, shuffle up all the names and line them up. So I'm going to hand them to you and you're just going to put them on this, just the outside. Like just like one per, like you'll start at the top and go all the way down to the bottom. So I'll shuffle these up. All right, so our participants, starting with the very top of the east bracket, we've got Lennox Matt, who is live and in the chat. He's going to face off against NJ Devil's Man. You can put it right on top of the pack. Yep. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> against NJ Devil's Man. Then we've got Shane Dog against NJ Devil's Man. Then Four Jensen is next against Edvet69. Then Justin A against Shane, Mario4363 against NJ Devil's Man, Oil Jays against Bummer Boy. Now going over to the west side, I've got Bummer Boy, and he's facing off against Mario4363, then Ed Vett against Mario, X Factor, welcome to the breaks. X Factor. He is live in in the chat, and he is a rookie to the Pack Wars tournament against Bummer Boy. 
Sean against Soccer Taz, Net Rider against Bummer Boy, and then Four Jensen is going to face the winner of the Pack Wars satellite, which was Bummer Boy. Alright, so let's start over on the east side. We're starting with Lennox Matt against NJ Devil's Man. Good luck, you guys. So this is the Series 2 side. So we are going by trump cards to see who wins the round. Lennox Matt is first. Matt starts it off. He's got an Anaheim Duck, which is a good sign if we go to lowest numbered base cards. Tyler Randall, OPG rookie. So NJ Devil's Man needs a Duck or a Young Guns. Or better, I guess. He's got himself an OPG rookie of Connor Brickley. So his lowest numbered base card, I saw a Buffalo Sabre, which will be low. Uh, 274. And Lennox Matt with his Anaheim Duck is going to beat that with the lowest card in the set, 251. Congratulations, Matt. You are on to the next round with the two OPG cards. So if you fail to advance to the next round, NJ Devil's Man, for instance, is going to get a Pack Wars Tournament Satellite into Pack Wars Tournament number 28. Um, he's also going to get an additional chance to earn the St. Louis Blues in that case break of the cup. Um, and that random is going to happen right after this tournament. So if you fail to, to move on, make sure to stick around for the end to see if you win the Blues. Next up we've got Shane Dog against NJ Devil's Man. Shane's got himself a Young Guns of his Vancouver Canucks, Alex Grenier. So Shane's got himself a nice card there. NJ Devil's Man will need a Young Guns or better. And... Dwayne's got a Victor Arvidsson, rookie from Upper Deck Portraits. So that means that Shane is going to win that round with his Young Guns. Congratulations, Shane. Next up, we've got Four Jensen against Ed Vett. Four Jensen is first. And he's got a Young Guns of Charles Houdon for the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, I think there was a second card under there. Ed Vett is next. Ed Vett has... Oh! He might have a numbered card that would beat the Young Guns. Let's see if this Mike Green Black is numbered. And it is! Number 19 out of 100. So the rare case where a Young Guns card is beaten. This is by a numbered card out of 100, Mike Green. So Ed Vett, congratulations, you steal the Young Guns and you make your way to the next round. Next up we've got Justin A against Shane Dog. Justin is first. Justin, you've got yourself a canvas of Nick Bugstad and an Arizona Coyote, so that's going to be a good low numbered card. Unless Shane can get a Young Guns here. Shane gets an OPG parallel of Troy Brower. So we're going to lowest numbered base card. Shane has 288. Ryan Murphy. Justin A has a 262. Anthony Duclair. So congratulations Justin. You move on to the next round. And NJ Devil's Man has his third chance here. Third time's a charm. He's facing Mario4363. Mario is first. Mario's got himself a uh, Winnipeg Jets, Nicholas Patan. Had a good game yesterday against New Jersey. So that is the first Jets hit, which means Mario gets himself a free spot in a box of black. Congratulations, Mario. Oh, just one second here. I'll get that. There we go. So, Mario4363, that is spot number eight in the bonus box of black. All right, let's see if NJ Devil's Man can pull a Young Guns. <clears throat> And he's got another Upper Deck Portrait. It is Jean-Francois Berube. 
So we're going to go to lowest numbered base card. So first of all, NJ Devil's Man has a 428. A 283 is the lowest card for Dwayne. Just double checking. So Mario needs to beat a 283, and he's done it with a 260. So Mario moves on to the next round. Sorry about that, Dwayne. You do have yourself a good chance to get the St. Louis Blues. Unfortunately, you couldn't move past the first in the bracket. Next, we got Oil Jays against Bummer Boy. Oil Jays is first. And Oil Jays has... A Young Guns of Zachary Fucali for the Montreal Canadiens. Congrats. Bummer Boy needs to pull a Young Guns or better to stay alive in the round. Bummer Boy's got a OPG rookie of Connor Brickley, which means that Oil Jays is going to win that round. Congratulations. And let's go over to the west side. So now we've got OPG. So, so remember the rules change a little bit here. Because there are so many parallels in OPG, we go with just the lowest numbered base card um, in the back of the pack, and that person is going to win all of the cards in both packs. <laughs> Todd is still sour from the last night, or last time when the Jets uh, kicked the abs butt. Okay, Bummer Boy is first against Mario4363. So Bummer Boy has got a nice low card, number 40. Mario4363 is trying to beat a 40. And he's got a 383. So not quite. So Jack, congratulations, you win the round. We'll do a little shuffle and get to your bonus cards. Those are not parallels. So you've got yourself a all-star of Josh Bailey. Uh, you've got a league leaders of Matthew Barzell, so we'll put that one aside. A Richard Panic and a Sean Monahan. Retro and the Monahan is a black border numbered out of 100. So number 80 out of 100. Nice hit there for Jack. Uh, you've also got a retro of Jamie Alexiak, brother of Penny Alexiak from the Canadian swimming team. Uh, Eric Gustafson. Ooh, and my favorite subset in OPG. You've got a playing card number seven, the seven of clubs of OPG playing cards of Mitch Marner. Nice couple of hits there and there for you, Bummer Boy. And on to the next round. Next up, we have Edvet against Mario4363. Edvet is first. Ed's lowest base card is number 49. Nice hit, nice low number there. Mario is next. And Mario's is... For the Avalanche, number 196, Samuel Gerard. So Edvet is going to win that round. And we'll shuffle up and show Edvet his hits. I feel a small one in the back. It's a Nick Ehlers mini card. You've also got a LA Kings checklist, a league leaders of Patrick Line. All kinds of jets in this pack. Ooh, another... Uh, Playing card coming up. We got a Miles Woods New Jersey card, Chris Tierney, San Jose Sharks, and then the Queen of Clubs, Evgeny Malkin playing card. Lots of nice hits there for Ed Vett. Congratulations. Moving on to the rookie X Factor against Bummer Boy. X Factor is first. X Factor has a nice low card, number 28, Mark Stone. That one's going to be tough to beat. Bummer Boy is going to try and beat a 28. And he's got, oh, he was close. It is a 64, Sean Curley. All right, so X Factor, congratulations. Your first Pack Wars tournament, and you win the round. Let's see what cards you hit in the two packs. So season highlights of Matthew Barzell. We've got a Jacob Varna, Washington Capitals. A playing card, Eric Stahl, OPG, three of clubs. And got a marquee rookie of Warren Fogel. A Jordan Eberle, New York Islanders. Quickly check, none of these are blank backs. Congratulations to X Factor for moving to the next round. Next up, we've got Sean, 1989, against Soccer Taz. 
Sean is first. Sean's got a 124 Ryan Zingle. Soccer Taz needs to beat a 124. And he's got a 240. So Sean wins the round. Congratulations. Let's see what hits he's got. Oh, small card, Eric Carlson. He's also got a All-Star of Austin Matthews. Marquee Rookie of Matthew Highmore. We've got a Marquee Rookie Gray Parallel of Michael Del Cole. New York Islanders, Ryan Pollock. Retro. St. Louis Blues checklist and a Chicago Blackhawks checklist. So congratulations to Sean for those hits and moving on to the next round. Next up we've got Renault Netrider against Bummer Boy. So Netrider is first. Netrider's got a checklist and that is unfortunately number 500 for Netrider. I think that's going to be a tap in for Bummer Boy. Just has to get lower than 500. And he has done it with a 39 Sam Reinhardt. So congratulations to Jack. Put that checklist as a part of your stack. Check out the hits. You've got a Brian Elliott retro, Drew Doughty retro, gold, bear, uh, gold border of Oscar Lindbergh. Wow, it would take forever to collect all the OPGs. So they've got the regular gray border, then they all have a gold border, they all have a black border. And I'm sure it goes on from there. Connor McDavid season highlights. Jack's going to like that one. Connor Hellebuck retro. Then the Jack of Hearts. Claude Giroux for Jack. All right, congratulations, Bummer Boy. On to the next round. Next up, we have Ford Jensen against the wildcard winner, Bummer Boy. So Ford Jensen is first. You've got a number 137. Bummer Boy needs to beat a 137. And he's got a 148. Very close. But Four Jensen wins the round. Hits for Four Jensen. You've got a marquee rookie of Daniel Brickley. You've got a Morgan Riley. Chris Russell, gray parallel. All-Star P.K. Subban, Brad Marchand, All-Star Retro, a Marquee Rookie of Adam Gaudet, a Carey Price Mini. There you go. Congratulations, Michael. On to the next round. Let's go back over to the east side. The um, quarterfinals are a triple threat match, so it's going to be three people against each other. And just a reminder, all you have to do to earn a free case team of the cup is make it to the final today. So the two finalists are going to get a free team in the case of the cup that we're going to do at around 10, 15 central time. So we've got Lennox Matt against Shane against Ed Vett. Starting with Lennox Matt. Back to series two rules. Lennox Matt has a Matthias Janmark OPG and a Buffalo Sabre, so that'll be a low card. Shane Dog is next. Matt is hoping for no young guns here in these packs. Shane Dog has a Phil Kessel OPG parallel and a Arizona Coyote, which will be a low numbered card. Edvet 69 is next. A young guns will punch his ticket into the semifinals. Otherwise, we'll have to go to the lowest numbered base cards. Edvet does have a young guns. It is Noah Hannafin. So, congratulations, Ed. You are on to the semi-finals, and I think Ed's already won a free team in the cup case, so he's trying to get team number two. Next up, we have Justin A against Mario against Oil Jays. So Justin is first. Justin has got himself an upper deck canvas of Nathan McKinnon. He also has an Anaheim Duck which is really good news if we go to lowest numbered base cards. Mario is next. 
Mario has got a Young Guns of Brandon Gantz. Congratulations, Mario. So that beats the Duck. So Oil Jays needs a Young Guns or better. We haven't pulled a Jersey card yet in Series 1. Oh, and speak of the devil, we do have a Jersey card. Roman Yossi. So congratulations to Oil Jays. Two Young Guns have been beaten in this tournament, which rarely happens. Oil Jays beats the Young Guns, and he claims the Young Guns and the Jersey card with that hit. Congratulations. So it's going to be Oil Jays against Ed Vett on the east side. Let's move over to the triple threat match for the west side, starting with Bummer Boy, Ed Vett, and X Factor. So we're starting with Jack. Jack's card is a nice one, a number 50. Congratulations, Jack. We'll put that on top of your name for now. Edvet needs to beat a 50. Edvet's got a 262. So Jack is still in the lead. X Factor looking to beat a 50 to move into the semifinal. And he's got a checklist, and it is number 200. So congratulations to Jack. Moves on to the next round. And he gets all the hits in these three packs. So let's see what he's got. Jack, you've got a rookie of Justin Hill. You've got a Tampa Bay Ryan McDonough. A Mark Pissick gray border. You've got a Dion Phaneuf retro. A Mitch Marner retro. William Carlson mini card checklist you got a Roberto Luongo retro a marquee rookie retro of Shane Gurish there you have it congratulations Jack for your card number 50 on to the semifinals over here we've got Sean against Bummer Boy against Four Jensen starting off with Sean John, you've got yourself a Jack Roslovic numbered out of 480. Bummer Boy has got a 395 of Shea Theodore. So for Jensen, all you have to do is beat a 395. Let's see if he can do it. It is a Joe Pavelski. It is a 25. Congratulations to for Jensen. You are on to the semi-finals, and you're going to get all of these hits, so let's see what you've got. Starting off with a all-star of Mike Green, retro, marquee rookie of Spencer Fu. We've got a Ben Bishop mini card. We've got a marquee rookie of Ryan Donato, a gray border of Matt Murray. Miko Rantanen Retro. Then we've got a checklist for the Penguins. Artemi Panarin Black Border, numbered out of 100. And a Matt Dumba Minnesota Wild Card. So congratulations to Ford Jensen for all those hits. And we're on to the semifinals. So the way that this is going to work. Whoever moves on to the finals automatically will get either the Vegas Golden Knights or the Carolina Hurricanes for free, in that case of the cup. The Vegas Golden Knights are $140 value. The Carolina Hurricanes are a $95 value. So we're going to start right over here on the west side for Jensen against Bummer Boy. Good luck, you guys. For Jensen, nope, we'll go to the back, sorry, number 440, Rick Nash. So Bummer Boy just needs to beat a 440, which should not be difficult, but we'll see. Bummer Boy has a 289. Congratulations, Jack. You've earned yourself a free case break team with your 289. And let's check your hits. Oh, we got something black in here. Boston Bruins wild card or uh, checklist. Jay Beagle retro. Petrangelo black border numbered out of 100. Jack, you've also got a Kevin Fiella Predators. 
Chad Johnson, and a number five of hearts, Philip Forsberg. Congratulations, Jack. You automatically have guaranteed yourself a free team in Pack Wars, or sorry, in the Case Cup. We're just going to have to see if it's the first place team or second place team. Over to the east side, we've got Oil Jays against Ed Vett. Back to Series 2 rules here, so the trump cards win it. Oil Jays is first. Oil Jays has a St. Louis Blues Joel Edmondson. So he's going to hope that Ed Vett does not have a Young Guns left in the pack. Ed Vett has a... Oh, nice. So there's a canvas of Bobby Clark, which will not win the round. So we're going to go to lowest numbered base card. I don't think I've pulled that canvas card before. So Ed Vett has a 266 Boston Bruins. That is nice and low. Oil Jays will need to beat a 266. And he's got a 276 and a 285 and a 289. So congratulations to Ed Vett. Moves on to the finals to face Bummer Boy. And it is time for the main event. All right, Edvet against Bummer Boy. Both of you are going to get a case break team. It just depends on who is going to get which team. We're going to start with the challenger, Edvet, still looking for his first tournament win. He has come in second one time before. Ed Vett has a Boston Bruin, which is good news. He's also got Mike Condon. So, bummer boy, if he can pull a Young Guns, he has won his four, five, six, seven, eighth tournament. Let's see if Jack can do it with the Young Guns. And he has done it with the Chicago Blackhawks Tanner Kiro Young Guns card. Congratulations, Jack. You've got the Vegas Golden Knights for free in the Case, cup, case of the Cup. You've also won the tournament, which means you get your way into the Pack Wars Tournament of Champions. Ed Vett, you are going to get yourself the Carolina Hurricanes for free in the case of the Cup, so not a bad consolation prize at all. You also get a satellite chance into the Pack Wars Tournament of Champions. At this time, what we're going to do is we're going to random all of the names of everyone who participated. I'm just going to very quickly put in... Um, the extra names for those guys who failed to move past the first round. So these are all the people who participated. And then, starting in the top, we've got NJ Devil's Man. Gets an extra. He actually gets two extras. Then Four Jensen. Then Shane. Then NJ Devil's Man again. Sorry, Dwayne. Bummer Boy. Then Mario, Mario, Bummer Boy, Soccer Taz, Net Rider, and then oh, DJ Bass, and all four kinds. So what's going to happen, I'm going to randomize this list only once. Whoever's name is at the top after one randomization is going to win the St. Louis Blues in the case of the Cup. Good luck, everyone. So this is everyone who had at least one spot in this tournament, as well as everyone who failed to move past the first round gets an extra entry. Good luck. The winner of the St. Louis Blues is... Lennox Matt. Congratulations, Matt, with just one chance on the board, and he's done it. Matt was really hoping for a free team in the cup, and he's got it. Congratulations, Matt. You earned it, buddy. That is your tournament, you guys. Thanks for participating. Make sure to check it out next Saturday. We're going to be going back to a bonus prize of Upper Deck Black for tournament number 28. Oh. Um, in 
20 minutes from now, the auctions are ending for a box of 2015 Panini Anthology. So make sure to check that out. That goes along with the stock exchange bonus that just started this past weekend. So every team that you purchase in that break is going to earn you a stock towards that team. At the end of the Stanley Cup playoffs, whoever has the most stocks in all of the teams gets that team for free. In a mega break, there are over $2,000 worth of prizes. And at 10.15, or as soon as we can get to it, we are going to break this case of the cup. I hope to see you guys there. Have yourselves a great rest of your evening.